You've got an easy question now. It's just about Brexit. Um, you've become quite well known in my country because you were the recipient of the well-known Tusk letter in which David Cameron laid out his negotiating position. But I have to tell you that as Greens, we would like to negotiate in entirely the opposite direction. I'm sure you know the letter by heart by now, but I'll quickly run you through the four points. On economic governance, we agree with Cameron that we should maintain economic influence in spite of not joining the euro, but we're very concerned that we don't want carve-outs for the city and we want banking to be decided right across Europe. On Cameron's attacks on red tape, we see this as an assault on the valuable legislation for our, uh, for, to protect our environment, our human and employment rights, and we see those as central to what we value as Greens about the European Union. On what Cameron calls immigration and we call free movement, we see this as one of the great achievements of the European Union and we absolutely don't want to see Cameron leverage any, any reductions in rights to movement across the Union. And finally, on the issue of sovereignty, we're signed up to subsidiarity and we, we don't see much, um, much coming in that direction from Cameron and his government. So I have to tell you that the polls, not, not the Polish people, but the opinion polls are not looking that promising. <laughs> And Cameron is constantly using that to add to leverage in the direction he wants Europe to go. But this is actually the opposite direction from what progressives want in the UK. And of course, a vote on the left is just as valuable as a vote on the right. So my question to you is, what can you do to reassure me that by conceding to Cameron's demands, you will not alienate the vital vote of UK progressives to remain in the European Union? And what can you offer to UK progressives to persuade them to vote to stay? When it comes to, 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 to Brexit, for me, the, the, the highest priority, of course, is to, 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 to keep the United Kingdom in Europe. It's, it's obvious, I think, for many reasons, not, 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 not only because I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's my formal obligation as, as a president of the European Council, but for, for many reasons, the geopolitical, um, uh, cultural, of course, uh, economics and uh, everything, in fact, uh, uh, is, uh, it, this is, for me, seems like, like strong arguments for, 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 for this goal. I think I'm not the best advocate or maybe not the best, uh, the best person to convince uh, your compatriot to to stay in Europe. In fact, I, I am afraid that it, I, I, maybe I, I I would be counterproductive if 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 I try to to convince the Brits to to vote yes in in, in the referendum. And uh, it's not only intuition. That it was also I think the, the reflection of David Cameron that maybe the. the mm, uh, uh, officials from Brussels, maybe they, 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 I mean, David Cameron, they don't, that doesn't need our active help in campaign, you know, as a, you know what I mean, I think. But um, uh, for me, the, my, my, my goal and my, uh, my job today is to, to find a compromise in the, in, in, in so-called false back, uh, Basket, okay, it's to me, no? It's no. Not to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. And uh, especially for, yes, issue social benefits, the, the problem of discrimination. And uh, mm, for me, the, the most important goal is to, to find this kind of compromise, uh, which allow, uh, protect our fundamental values, this, this, uh, and, um, and uh, of course, discrimination, this is the main problem for me today. Not because I am a Pole, because it's a much wider problem than only the Polish migrants in, 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 in the United Kingdom. But also we have to find a compromise which allow um, David Cameron to show that he's also the winner of these negotiations as a political method to, to win this referendum. And I'm afraid that, uh, that the, the, the only method is to find something what will not bring 100% satisfaction for Cameron, for your mm, uh, colleagues, for, for, uh, for the European Council as a whole, for some member states. This is, this is the essence of compromise. I mean, nobody is happy. <laughs> no, no one is happy, but, but uh, in fact, this is the method, method to, to help to win 
uh, the referendum. I am not the author of this idea of a referendum. I, 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 am, I am rather to, to, to clean up this, this, this mess which is a result of this idea. Mess in, 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 in Europe because in fact, it, this is something like political mess, why? Because it's, uh, I'm afraid that uh, uh, for some countries, for example my country, this British uh, example can be in the future something very attractive and, uh, and the queue of some countries with their demands, with this idea that if not, we can also organize a referendum. You know, this is very, very tricky, especially in this, in this political atmosphere today in, in Europe. And, mm -hmm. and please, I, I, uh, please, I, I hope that you can understand me that I, I have to be very cautious with some details and with some proposals because the, 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 the process of negotiations is ongoing and, and, and this is why I, I have to be more discreet than, than usual. But I, I think m my, my prediction is that February, this is the possible date to have a compromise. It means a political common declaration with some legal Mm, legal aspect, but uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the European fundamental rights, especially, I mean, treaty rights like uh, anti-discrimination and, uh, and uh, mm, free movement, uh, uh, this is, this is the, the part of our negotiation where I personally and my institution, we can't uh, give up and we will not give up. It's, uh, it, this, this is, I think, very clear for uh, David Cameron from the very beginning of this of this uh, process. Uh, 